bought a Bible? What's that? Have you bought a Bible? Yeah, I bought it. Well, you're supposed to get it. I'm just supposed to get it. You're not supposed to buy a Bible. Is there a sin to buy a Bible? Sin by love. Why is that? Because uh, when I went to church, I was told that it was a sin to buy a Bible. I mean, I've got people have given me Bibles for free, and I've bought Bibles. Yeah, no, you're not, you're not supposed to buy a Bible. Yeah. Man, no, the Bible, no, the Bible doesn't say. Do you have any kids? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a sin too, because you're not supposed to have anything in place. What Bible are you reading? I don't read the Bible. Do I look like I'm. <laughs> well, how do you know it's a sin? Because it's sin to have intercourse. Where, does, where do you come up with that? <laughs> So you tell me where the, you, you 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 believe that to be true? Yeah. Pa, pa, you believe you believe having sexual intercourse is sin? Well, to some people's belief, I'm atheist. I don't believe in God. I have a hell. Do you believe in a God? No, no. You, know, you guys don't believe in God. No, there's no point. What what the hell has He done for me in my life? My life has gone to shit. No one's ever oh, been there. What good? What good so, does so, it do so, on so this life? So what you're saying is what you're saying. Is God owes you something? No, I'm not. Oh, saying. you did not. No, no, that's, that's not what you said. No, he it's said God hasn't done anything for him. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're, that's not mean God owes him something. But no, everyone doesn't. says God helped you in some way. What way did God ever help you? You're alive right here. Not to mention, I'm standing here talking to you. Do you think maybe God? See, we were actually going to go to UMD today, right? We're going to go preach. We're going to preach at UMD. And right before we got into the car, I said, "Hey, let's go down to the bus stop." Now maybe God is trying to get your attention. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe God's trying to get your attention because first of all, He's already revealed Himself to you. It's called creation. Where do you think all this came from? You think it just happened? Uh, sure. Yeah, Tell I, me I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You're here, you're here, you die, you die. Uh, I, I don't think you believe that. I do. I don't think I, I had this that. shit shoved down my throat when I was younger and it pushed me away from it. That's why you guys, what? you shove it down little kids' throats yeah. and what force them to believe this shit. Well, first of all... Yeah, tell me this, tell me this. Do, when you were younger, did you go to church? Did your parents make you go to church? Yep. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. That is exactly it. Now, from 18 to 28... Yes, the reason, the reason 18 to 28, you believe this shit, no. is because... No. Is because no. you got... You're you're shoved not, you, down your throat from a young age. You're not telling. It's like a cult. You're not telling. It's like a cult. You guys true. say it's not it like, a like a cult. You're not it's telling true. my story, true. From from, from, from okay. the time I was born until I was 18, right? Your parents. I you went said, to church. They you made said, me go to church. Okay, I didn't believe it. I was still a little singing devil. I did whatever. I lied to my parents. I stole. I fornicated. I did drugs. I got drunk. Right? I did whatever I wanted to do. Then. I left the church because I went to college, and from 18 to 28, I never once went to church. I never once read the Bible. I continued to be the sinning little devil that fornicated and drunk and got drugs and went to jail. Okay. Yeah. Like, hold on. At the age of 28, I'm sitting in a hotel room, and a free Bible, right? You guys talk about buying a Bible. A free Bible sitting on the... on the Stealing's a sin, too. A free Bible sitting... Man, you're you're, That's you're, not you're free. assuming I stole. I didn't steal. A Bible sitting right there, right? And you took it. And that I picked it up fruit. and I read it. Did someone give it no? to you? Yeah, the no. Gideons. The Gideons. It's in the hotel room. It's sitting there. there you just said you got it in no, jail. I'm saying, you, you're, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In the hotel room. Yeah, you said it in the hotel room. Thank you. Thank you. But you said, no, you just said you were in jail. I've gone to the hotel room. My point is, my story is, is I'm not this little vibey dumpy kid that grew up in a church my parents stuff from my throat. Okay, that's I turned fine. away. No, okay, that's is, fine. You're I'm not sitting I'm sitting in the hotel room and I open up to the scriptures and read, wash yourself, make yourself clean, stop doing the evil things I see you do, stop doing wrong and learn to do good. And God gave me a revelation of himself. And from twenty-eight on, yeah, now I'm one of those people that stand down the street okay. testifying about okay. Jesus Christ. So okay, then okay, that's fine. Your parents do you, you So our whatever. stories are different. Okay, fine. You have kids. You said you have I kids. Have kids. You make them go to church? No. Nope. Really? You don't, you don't go, go to church? church? No. See, I'm not. See, here's the thing. Is so what's I, the point of doing all this shit? Because if you don't practice what you preach. Yeah. Because, because <laughs> practice you're talking what you about preach. religion, and I'm talking about a relationship. Listen, do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you walked up to your girlfriend when you came home, or you saw her, or you picked her up, and you gave her a big kiss, and, and she said, and she said, so people can walk through. And you, you just, Jesus you're just Christ, dude. <laughs> Okay, so you so you pick up your girlfriend, right? Hey, you believe me? You hey, pick, hey, do you believe me? I'm Jesus Christ. So you pick up your girlfriend, right? Yeah. And you give her a kiss. And she said, why'd you just kiss me? And you open up a manual and said, because on page three of this manual, it says that I need to kiss you. See that? I'm talking about a relationship. I have a relationship. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about having a relationship with Jesus. When you see my disciple, we're trying to figure out which person will be crucified. To save us all. Jesus. Jesus. 